Oh, hey there, buds. How you guys doing today? Uh, I hope you guys are smiling up a storm. Today, I want to talk to you about meta guns and kind of thinking of it in a different way. So yeah, I could just tell you, hey, you should build this ISO hemlock. It's so good. Here's the attachments. Here's everything. But I want to make this video for uh, everyone. I wanted to, to, to make it for everyone and 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 think about meta weapons a different way. And I'm talking about contraband weapons. These, you don't always need to be, you know, to be using your insured slots to get a, a meta weapon. And today I want to talk to you about Almazra. I want to talk to you about Ashika Island and meta guns that you can get almost every single time you go on there. And it just, it just makes sense in my head. So, you know, I'm going to open up your third eye today. I hope you're ready. Let's get that chakras, those namastes and let's get going. eh? We're going to be breaking this down into the two main maps, which is Ashika Island and Almazra. Now, you might be thinking, hey, Geek said, you know what? The ISO Hemlock works on, on, on both places. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Today, what I want to talk to you about is ground loot weapons that you have an abundance of. So these are always at your disposal. You'll always can find them. And when you think of like, let's say Almazra, when you think of Almazra, what guns are you thinking of? You're thinking of the Vaznev, you're thinking of the RPK, and you're also thinking of the Castoff 74U. And why are you thinking that? Because you find them everywhere. They're in every single nook and cray. Every time you, you kill an AI, it seems like every second or third gun is one of these, right? So today, the star of the show is going to be this, the workbench. This thing is a beaut. I saw you from the beginning. You were clearly out of Mali. You didn't look at where I was standing. Not gonna lie, things got a little weird there, but we'll bring it back down to earth. Here's the thing you need to know about the workbench. As long as you have the components or the attachment story already unlocked through, you know, leveling up certain guns, you'll have them unlocked at the workbench. Now to go from no mods to all five mods on a gun do cost you $15,000. Now you might be thinking, geeks, that's a lot of money. I can't make $15,000. That's out of my price range. Okay, so be it. That might be, you know, the case. I don't think it's that bad. But when you compare it to like buying contraband weapons, right? You can buy them from the buy station. It's it's ridiculous. 25,000 for a five attachment gun. Now, it is a good time when you do want to use contraband guns is usually when you don't have them unlocked in the game. So say you're a free to play player or you haven't unlocked uh, the EBR or whatever it is. Listen, I get it. Buying the contraband weapon so that you unlock them, then you can keep leveling them up makes sense. But at the end of the day, the workbench is just so much better of a deal. More times than not, you will have a lot of these attachments unlocked, but you don't need to go specific, right? We have to remember, it's not like you're doing an insured gun. You can't fine tune things. So sometimes just because, you know, some things are meta, right, on a website, doesn't mean it's always meta for that workbench because you can't fine tune things, right? So you can try different things, you can mix and match, but I am gonna show you the quote unquote meta builds for all these guns. And and to be honest, I really, really like them. Like this Vaznev right here is quote unquote meta, right? This is a meta build. And I did use this on uh, Almazra and it just, it's it's awesome. It does slay, it's a really fast gun. It, it, you know, it's not good for your medium to long range for sure, but your close range, it absolutely melts people. And I can't say enough good things. Now here's the RPK build. This is of course the quote unquote meta, but if you want to experiment and you want to change things up, I'm, I'm all for that. Try it out. See what you, you like more, see what you like less. Maybe you want a quicker ADS speed, right? Giver. But what I will say is this is just right now what all everyone's using and it's enjoyable. No one's ever like, hey, this RPK sucks. No, the RPK is always, it's just like a warm blanket, the RPK, right? So I always want to tell you, try it out, try this build out because it's just a banger. It's just a banger. Now the cast off 74 U, I won't lie to you. I haven't had a chance to use, but if it's like the RPK or the Vaznev, I guarantee you it's just it's just an always great pick. 
What it comes down to, you guys, is before we go into Ashika Island and I tell you the main guns that are always there and the meta, I'll show you the meta builds for those guns too, because Ashika Island has actually quite a few more guns than, you know, the cast of the Vaznek and the RPK. But uh, I just want to say this. It's always good to modify your guns, even if they are just ground loot weapons. You can make ground loot weapons fantastic, right? And again, you don't have to always, you know, stay on the path of meta, meta, meta. You could just try some goofy things out. Hey, a suppressor is always a good idea, right? And of course, the Harbinger and the Talon are like, quote unquote, meta for a lot of guns. But I don't, I don't know. I just wanted to make this video to remind you, hey, the workbench is there. I don't think enough people are using it. And also a million dollar idea right now for uh activision i know they'll never see this it's so far deep into the video i know they'll never check it out but if you could put on some skins or use blueprints that you own god that workbench would be amazing right like how many more bundles would you buy if you could like you know get your blueprints onto your or on, onto your guns through the workbench or even just camos that you worked hard to unlock right that would be the ultimate. I think the workbench would use be used so much more. And and the other thing about this idea, right, is that when you do kill someone, chances are you're going to get a, a really good gun and you're going to get their blueprint gun or their like, you know, you using blueprints in the workbench and then say you die, then maybe someone grabs your gun. Now they're shooting and turning people into coins or whatever goofy ass things they do and they're like you know what i kind of like that blueprint that was really fun i kind of want to buy it actually now money this is what i'm talking about this i there I, I i got you guys some more money activision you're welcome ashika island has a lot more common drops they have a lot more guns i would say that drop than just the three from uh, almazra but you have to think about it there there's so much more opportunity because every lmg pretty much falls uh most commonly the Rawl, the icarus the Seiken and the Rap fall in uh, in Ashika Island. Very common, these LMGs. Then you have the best submachine gun. I think at least the Lockman sub. One of the best ARs commonly dropped from Tier 2 and Tier 3 bots. That's the M4. And an amazing shotgun, you guys. The Bryson 800. Now, of course, I'm not saying like you're going to get these all the time you're going to be able to mod them but these are the most common guns that are dropping so just expect to like you know look up some some builds for these guns maybe even just grab them and then leave right away as soon as possible because we all know ashika island's full of sweaty sweaty pvp and not many people like that stuff but if you do hey grab a couple of these guns and uh do what you can with them right or you can bring them into al Mazra and then mod them there it's all up to you I just kind of wanted to make a video, you guys, just reminding you the workbench is is amazing. It's unreal. Let me know what you you know what your tips are with the workbench. I'm sure you guys have something that you guys always do. Let me know. So thank you so much for just watching this video. If you liked it, hey, subscribe to the channel. It's free for you guys. It means the world to me. And until next time, I'll talk to everyone later.